Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome to day nine. We mm. are both very excited because... Let's see if I can get this to work. I'm not sure if you can see, but all around me... Look at that. There are no clouds. Blue sky, blue sky, blue sky, blue sky. Blue, oh, come on, look blue, look blue, look blue. Go on, look blue, look blue, look blue. Blue sky, blue sky. It's amazing. It's a full, full two pi radians of blue sky. And... That makes me feel very good. I'm still mm. going to check the forecast today. We decided we're not going to have our main lunch uh, breakfast here because it's pretty. It's not a particularly inspiring place. All these trees, yeah. so we're going to have a quick pack down, eat some biscuits, have a couple of bickies, and then hike up to the coal and maybe have our breakfast there. Alrighty ho, we're underway. It's another chilly morning. It's fresh, but man, I think well, I, we're both buzzing a bit today. The forecast the looking so much looks better. really good for the next two or three days. It looks like it's going to be a lovely, lovely day today. Oh yeah, the sky. A little bit of cloud clear. forecast this afternoon, but man, it's Do nice. We get up into that sun. It's nice that it's changing its tune a little bit, but yeah, I'm just really excited. Get up this hill and get a little bit of brekkie in us. Got Villaouise, hopefully a nice big town. Yeah, hopefully a food. Well, it has to be a food shop. We have cafe. So we need power as well for our phones because we're running yeah. a little low on juice. But yeah, good vibes. Good vibes. Oh my god, guys, this is terrifying. I think we might have found some sort of baby snow leopard. Chilly. Here, little snow leopardy. Here, little snow leopardy. Hello. She looks freezing. Oh my goodness, what are you doing all the way up here? Mm. Oh, hello. Okay, guys, this is going to be three falls walking. We have a new companion. Calling it Snowy. Snowy. Oh, Snowy the snow leopard. Here we're on top of the coal. The yeah. sun hasn't quite found us, and unfortunately, <laughs> the ski infrastructure is pretty full on up here. But the full blue sky is all around us, so I'm still feeling very, very happy, Bunny. There's a big sign to Villa Wies up there. Where? On the ski sign. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet. Okay, right. Let's get let's get moving. Get that sun. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that little viewage that out there. Beautiful. So we think we may have neglected to say what our plan is for today, because maybe we said it yesterday. Run through that now, so we get all the fresh in everyone's minds. So the, the goal is, we're walking about three and a half hours Three and a half now, hours from now. To a little village called Villouise. Or well, quite a big village, hopefully. Which is hopefully going to be a big village, hopefully going to have a shop that's open when we're, we're there. Two and a half foot or so day food carry from there. Yeah, so, so we've really got to get a big stock food. up. Um, we also need to charge up our phones, and yep. I think we have the potential to edit and upload a video. Which would be brilliant. So maybe a big cafe sit. So depending on how long we end up staying there for, we then got two options for camping this evening. One of them is another three hours and 20 minutes. But it's Cows supposed to be tail. to a fantastic cabin. Yeah, uh, the photos boffy. of it look brilliant in the guidebook. It's got what looks like electric lighting again. So that is pretty attractive concept, actually. But then 45 minutes from the town, there's an air de bivouac. So this is like a little... Um, he says there's basic facilities, so there's probably a probably toilet. Probably a toilet. So in France, the air de bivouacs are basically like a flat field, normally with a toilet, sometimes a rubbish bin where you can go and camp free. Just try and keep all of the... Wackers contained. Place. So that's the plan. Hopefully we will execute it. I'm so excited about the weather. It's um, looking so I'm good. I'm tempted to just walk onto the cabin and maybe camp up high yeah. and somewhere beautiful. That would be my real dream, I think. And it makes such a difference. As soon as the ski infrastructure disappears, it just becomes stunning. It's just good. Mm. Stopping for a little snackage. Making good progress. We've just seen some people camping down the valley, so might be some other hikers, which would be nice. Mm. Hello! Hey, so hey. we've just finished the steep part of the descent. We We're dropped down from somewhere up there. Yes, we dropped down from up there um, and into the top of the valley. So hopefully it's going to flatten out the terrain yeah, a bit. I think it's going to be a bit of a flatter hike now. Just gentle descent into town in a couple of hours. We're going to pick up speed, I think, and just, yeah, keep on rolling. Well, I think we're going to... The food town that we're planning to go to is actually just slightly north of Villouise. I'm not quite sure it's the same town or a different town. Yeah, well, yeah it could just be a connected part. We're not really sure. So hopefully we'll be there a little bit sooner. What time is it now? The time now is 9.30. 9.30, okay. So we've only been going an hour and a half, so we've probably gotten like another two hours. Okay, better get on it. Okay, the town is in view. We've got some sun down there somewhere. And the sun's come out. We're Ooh. both happy, charging down the hill. Should be there relatively soon now, I reckon, yeah. 
Okay, so we're just dropping into the town above Villa Louise, and to be honest, I'm getting pretty yeah, good vibes off it. Yeah, it feels relatively alive and, like, it, things should be open. Fingers crossed the uh, little tiny supermarket yeah. that is supposed to be here is. is open. We managed to make that a pretty good time. It's only quarter to 11, so pretty chuffed oh, about wow, that. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we got everything we needed, mm. pretty much. It was a bit of a scavenge. We didn't manage it to get It was a bit noodles. of strange, strange dinner arrangements we got going. But we got all the meals we need. We got some lovely fresh food for now. Mm -hmm. We got sheep's cheese. Mm -hmm. Never eaten sheep's cheese before. It's going to be really exciting for lunch today. We've got fresh pasta for dinner. Mm -hmm. So we've got some exciting food. Plan now is to eat a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to wander into Villouise, hopefully find a cafe and have a bit of a cafe sit. So we've rejoined with a trail following a river. We're hoping to be in Villouise in about less than 30 minutes. So Sub 30 20. minutes, yeah. We need power big time. Yeah, we're both on about less than 50%, I think. Currently, both of our minds are like just turning over how good our six euro hunk of sheep cheese is going to be. What, what even is sheep cheese going to taste like? I, is it better than goat's cheese? Like, what could... Like, it's unique to this area, I think, which is why it was so expensive. Six euros as well. I think that's the most expensive piece of cheese we've ever bought. So, it's better be some good cheese. Oh, man, this is what it's all about. Chilling, French mm. town vibe, eating... Your sheep cheese sandwich. What do you think of the sheep cheese? It's nothing special, really. Like, mm. I don't know. It's nice, but I prefer goat's cheese. Uh, I think it's a nice change. Try to do the spice of life. Mm. Weather is gorgeous. I just took off my jumper because I was so oh, hot. It's so nice. I'm so excited. We've looked at the weather and there's been about three or four days of nice, actual nice weather, like no rain forecast for the it's first so time. Great. Also, we're planning to head to a cat bothy tonight, which should be fantastic. And we saw some hikers in front of us. They were Oh, yeah, two guys in front of us as well. They look pretty full on, so. Touch wood, they'll uh, be at the bothy for a nice chat this evening. Okie dokie, check out where we are going. Pushing out of the town at about 2.30. We've got 12k along to do and... 800 metres up. 800 metres of ascent to this cabin. Yep. It's looking lovely, the weather is so holding, it's stunning. We're actually hot for the first time. Great lunchage, high vibes at the moment. We are, yeah, I, hope, I think this is gonna be a really nice a ascent. Hours. Basically following a river up a valley. I think it's gonna be stupendous. Thundering up this hill, views oh. all around us are developing all the time. Only slight thing is, it's a horrible we're, tarmac track. We're on a tarmac track. Which takes away from it a little bit. We think that there's a like some sort of climbing center or something. Or maybe caving. We're not caving quite or something sure. like that halfway up this valley. So we think this road runs to it. It looks like the GR follows yeah. it, unfortunately. But um, no, as soon as we leave nice, it, nice I think it's going to be stunning. This is more like it. Goodbye, road. Into straight the park. into the national park, climbing up. Now we start the last bit of ascent up to the cabin slash... I think it should be too much more, only a couple of hundred metres. Yeah, I, I'm, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really I'm feeling good. pretty good, yeah. This deeper. pack's a bit heavy with all the food, but other than that... Yeah, the pack is pretty heavy. It's called Bridge. Right, let's get a move on. I'm excited to get up there, camp up, actually like get my sleeping bag out, dry the Whoa. tail out a little bit. It's going to be gorge. Still tearing up the valley. River's looking really good and strong to our left. Very, very optimistic for a solid wash this evening. We, we made here. it, we made it. We are here, we're pitched up. So the cabin is just behind it me. Does. It's quite a nice cabin, it's quite the small. Rock here. And, and there are already three people there. Yeah. So we thought, as it's such a nice place to camp and it's not meant to rain, why not camp? Check out the views. So this is what we hiked up um, all the way this afternoon. It took us quite a long time in the end. Well, it took us three hours and I think it was said three hours 20 in the book and this is what we've got behind us. Ta-da! Wow. So this is a pretty sweet camp spot. Our plan now is to go and get get washed in the river which is going to be pretty nice um, the motivation to watch has dropped it was now a we're lot, in the shade it was a lot of motivation well it was like fruit boiling hot on the way up but now we're in the shade and we're both shivering it's so like Ooh. yeah I think we go. Go. sweat drying as well right I just filled up my water bottles now I've got to wash and I I really don't want to I'm freezing already but it must be done I will sleep better for it as always Connors is ready before mine how is it it's exceeding my expectation quite severely Mm. Actually delicious. I've got so much that it barely fits in my pot. It's exciting. Yeah, they are. Mine are meaty. Oh, it's time for chocolate. Time for chocolate, man. The chocolate dance. Oh, it was pretty chill. One of the guys spoke English, or two of the guys, but they actually all spoke relatively good English, so we just went and had a little chat and 
chilled in the bothy. Turns now we're one sitting. One was the guy that was also on the top when it snowed, which is quite funny. Yeah, we recognise his tent, which is pretty cool. Let me give you a view of where we're sitting now. There's some pretty cool straight-eated rocky things over there, looking out at the valley. Got a little tarp down there, it's looking a complete mess at the moment. I'm gonna eat some chockey and then straight to bed with Terry because the temperature actually, actually dropped, dropped. It's meant to only quickly. get to five degrees, but we are at like two, four hundred today. So it probably will still get really, really cold. Yeah. Although it is getting warmer and warmer. So. Right, let's get on with this eating. Terry time! Uh, Terry Pratchett, here we come! The guy came and checked out our tarp. He thought he it was thought cool. It was so cool. Welcome to day 10. We're in the double digits now. Wow, double digiting. And that's, I think, past the halfway point as well. But my goodness, it's fresh this morning. It's a beautiful morning as well. We've got mm. pretty much clear skies all the way around. The sun is just hitting the mountain tops behind us. So, give or take, I don't know, if we were to stay here for an hour, I suspect it might come through this valley and we might be warmed up by its rays. But I, suspect... I think we're hiking off up to the left or right. So, uh, we're going to not see it for a while. Mm. It's also Rebecca's birthday today, so happy birthday. Unfortunately, there's no signal here. Or anywhere for the next, like, three days. But we'll try our best. Right. We need to finish our brekkie and uh, work out exactly what our plans are for today. And we're off. Uh, we are underway, and the weather is looking fantastic today. Very blue Basically, skies. Basically, I don't see a single cloud in the sky. Ooh, We've got cool. a... Very exciting day ahead of us. We're going to the highest point on the GR54. Should be there in about two and a half hours. Which is 2,700 and something meters. So that's pretty cool. This is Coldola something or other. Coldola Alp Martin, I believe. Yeah. Um, the sort of overall pr elevation profile for the day is up and down to a refuge at about the five hour point. So we're going up to the coal down and then to down refuge. to a refuge about five hours. And then from there. We've got two to three hours up to a set of coals. We're planning to camp. And hopefully the cap cold that we're planning to camp at should be either fantastic views or hanging valley or just general loveliness. So I'm really, really optimistic for the campsite tonight. Um, it's pretty fresh this morning, but I reckon things chilly. are gonna warm up relatively soon. As soon as soon. we get hit by that sun, it'll be good. Yeah. Oh, already the hills are looking majestic and I cannot wait to get past that sun line. Cool, we're coming into the top of the valley and I'm getting very, very excited for the climb Donkey. onto the coal. And we got a little, little flock of donkeys. Cool, the scenery is fantastic this oh, morning. It's looking beautiful. This has got to be one of my favourite climbs thus far. The rocks are just so... Um, Rocky. So good. Still a long, 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 long way up though. She is the highest. Just stopped to lose the raincoat. He's making really good fleeces. progress up this hill. Yeah, fleeces, fleeces. Making really good progress up this hill. It is still gorgeous oh. this morning. Can Still I get... a long old way to go though. Yeah, yeah. I did... don't really know how long it's going to take us to get up here, but I feel like we're at a good pace. Yeah. Hello! Ooh. We are here. We, we are, are high. on the highest point of the GR54. And probably 700 and something, something meters. meters. Yeah, so a bit, probably our highest point just overall. Not only that, but it's probably our nicest morning. Oh, it's, there's no clouds Ever? I can see anywhere, and the it's GR50, actually warm. It's, it's warm now. Like, the high cup is a bit... Let me give you a view around, because it's absolutely stunning from up here. So, oh, look at that behind me. Look at it. This is the uh, valley we walked up, clambered up that bit there. We camped behind behind that this morning, somewhere down in the thing. Had these all on our way up. You can see over there from far away. Epic mountains, and this is what we've been greeted with on the other side of the coal. I'm not sure whether you can see with a camera, but these mountains are like striated and like all patterned and shaped with all the layers of rock, probably from some ancient seabed. Over there we've got another little coal, hoping that we'll get even more fantastic views from over there. And then a little bit of rock to us. Wow, coal number two is even more it's impressive. A little bit lower, but much more beautiful. We just there. stopped for a little uh, signal session, but let me give you a look around. Out in front you can see the um, little cloud inversion below us and way out some sort of big valley. We are well and truly in the Ekrins National Park now. It is fantastic. Check out this view that's opened up of where we were. Actually, I don't think we were ever here, but we were it's a particular... Yeah, we just came from that little ridge line there, but this is particularly sweet. The book says it's two hours of pretty rough yeah, descent. It looks pretty zigzaggedy. So to our next uh, stopping point, which is a refuge where we're planning to have lunch, and so we yeah, better just um, take it easy down the hill. Yeah, we're going to take it really off. easy. Keep looking after both of our knees, and um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, we're just coming down here and check out this rockage. 
It is so cool. It rocks. <laughs> it rocks. So I'm going to say this descent has not been as bad as the book made out. Yeah, I agree. It's been incredibly wiggly. It's been very wiggly woggly and it's been particularly beautiful. Like the mountains are lovely. We're getting a view down into the, um, into the valley. We're about 45 minutes away from when we said we were going to have lunch and I am very hungry and looking forward to the delicious looking bread we bought yesterday. Wow. We made it to the bread. refuge and my goodness, I was so hungry. It's pretty awesome setting. Not massive, massive mountain all around us. And some lovely puppies. And there's some doggies down here as well, yeah. which are particularly nice. Now, at the moment I'm really enjoying the spread. Not only is it tasty yeah. and fresh, yeah. it's also cold. Um, We'll see how I feel about it by the end. Well, I surprised myself there with that bread. I managed to wow. eat all of it. It wasn't even that bad. That's sugar time. Mm. Would have been better with some butter, but beggars can't be choosers. Howdy, howdy. We just pushed out of the refuge. Give our and, hats a good wash. Yeah, we doused our hats with water, filled up fully with water in the bottles. I'm feeling a little bit bloated from all that I bread. Am. It was a lot of volume of food. And with this gorgeous heat, I'm feeling almost food comery, to be honest. Wow, I might just roll into a ball and have a sleep. But we do need to push on. I think it's, it's just... What time is it now, Finn? Uh, it is just nearly two. Two o'clock. So if we're thinking somewhere between two and three hours, we're going up this big hill in front of us. And we're hoping to get in for about... 4.30ish. Which would be absolutely fantastic. We may have forgotten to mention just then, but we are planning to do 800 metres of ascent this afternoon, which is going to put the whole day's total ascent at around 16, 1,700 metres total, which is going to be a lot of up. It's a lot of climbing. Okie dokie, we are making good progress up this hill. It's very, very hot at the moment. The views are oh, building yeah. where we've come from. Look at that, it's so majestic. Finn just had a look at the GPS. We've done 500 of 800 meters of ascent, and it looks like we're coming to a little bit of a viewy point. Hopefully there'll be some water. There's supposed to be a river. We'll see if it's flowing, because we're probably going to need to keep going if there isn't. We're just clambering up onto a little side coal. The main oh, coal is over there, but the views from up here are fairly, fairly wonderbar. Wow, wow, wow. Man, look at that bird. Can you see this swirling mass of eagles? There, look, I'm a wildlife photographer. See the glorious golden eagle. We oh. made it, coal number three for the day, and oh my goodness, that it was is a difficult but good climb. Big, big up. Let's give you a little, uh, a, a little front camera. We clambered up all the way from somewhere down in there, right the way across there. You can see, uh, I think that was where we were uh, this morning. That was the second coal we got to this morning, and this is the view that we've just been opened up to. There's looking like plenty of campability and greenery down there, which is fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. You may have seen some of it because of that little uh, thing, but check out our campsite. God, this is probably on the top top five or ten of our ever campsites. This is fantastic. Look, we got brilliant sunshine, we got the quilt, we got the thing, we got the view, we got a coal to our right, which we're going up tomorrow. That was the coal we came down. Man, we are going to have a fantastic mega, evening. We're just going to chill. We've got sun in the evening. This is the first time I think we've ever... I mean, there's been really? sunny evenings, but it's been cloudy while we've camped. Bake so. out all of our equipment and just... Oh, man. It's going to be a good night's sleep. It is going to be fantastic. And we checked the forecast the other, um, this morning, and the next two days look like balmy. Like At least the degrees. next one day. I'm pretty sure it's the next two days, so... Wow. It's going to be mega. If we can get... Yeah, just this is so fantastic. So we just filmed a pretty sweet review of our Thermarest yeah, versus Z-Lights. Up soon enough. 
Let us know, actually, guys, which things you'd like us to review the most. Yeah, I think 100%. we're definitely new gear. Definitely, so. definitely going to review both the tent and the quilts. Quilt, but we want to hold off on the tent until, until we've done at least storms. one. This is getting pretty pooey. Let's go yeah, that way. Uh, until we <laughs> do at least one more major storm, I think. Yeah, um, just be confident that it actually is dry. And yeah, and yeah. also more cold nights on the things would just be better review. So. For our review well, we're integrity, a few cold nights. we're going to hold off on those for a bit. But anything else, uh, let us know. Uh, right now, right now, we're trekking over. We saw a small body of water. It's meant to be a big lake, but it's more like a dried-up muddy puddle. And the plan is to attempt to wash ourselves. Alrighty, we're all cleaned up. What is cooking on uh, the day ten Big Sky camp then? So. We didn't get the best food in the world, but I think it's actually going to, like, weight-wise. But we got these, like, tins of ravioli, mm. and it looks and smells lovely. So I think it's actually going to be quite nice, even though up. it's not ideal. It looks quite tasty to me. I want to get it really, really hot. His is finished again before mine. Mm. How is it? Ravioli is pretty damn good. It's got a little bit of a... Mildly chemically taste, but it's actually really rather tasty. That, that could be the uh, maths in the pot. I would, I would do it again. Quite messy, and maybe not enough food, but... And maybe. quite heavy. Wow, I'm jealous. And wait, yeah. Look at mine. <laughs> Is it even bubbling yet? Barely. It's not quite the same. Righty-ho, finally fins are done. How are they? In a lot of ways, they remind me of the regurgitated baby sick. So I think this may have been the pre-element that was eaten, then regurgitated, <laughs> then eaten, then regurgitated. <laughs> but that does make it a lot better. A lot less processed. I, I liked him. I thought it was pretty pretty damn fine. I'm really, really enjoying just sitting here chilling with our view this evening, which is absolutely mega. I think the next thing on our agenda is to sit down and plan the next couple of days and just look at the book and work out where the other fantastic camp spots are going to be. Goodbye, my son. So okay, guys, with the last of the sun, Finley's we're have this beautiful Finley's chocolate review. Apparently, chocolate according chocolate. to a top secret source, uh, YouTube has started putting chocolate advertisements on our videos. Oh, look at that. This Ooh. may have something to do with it. <laughs> Holy moly, this is delicious. This is so good. Mm. Show them the inside of the chocolate film. Make them jealous. Look at that. Caramel deliciousness. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh my god, you dropped some. No! The sun just disappeared. We are in cloud, in shadow. It's still pretty pretty lovely and warm, like though. 10 meters over there, though. Yeah, it's still sunny there. Sinking outside. And we are getting prepped for our late night, Terry. It's late night? Late... It's like six. Six, that's it's pretty damn late in the yeah, mountains. We go to bed. What did I say? The sunset's late in the mountains. Right, we'll no, see you in the morning. Damn. Yeah, Finney came up with this great proverb. What was it? The, the sunset's, sunset's high in the mountains. Sunset's high in the mountains. Right. We'll see you in the morning.